So guys, what's going on? I uh, hope you guys are well. Hope everything's good. Hope hope you guys are safe. Guys, the live stream was crazy today. I've got to say, uh, the live stream was wild. Um, and I feel like certain people weren't happy. Certain people were giving their opinions and it was kind of wild. It was kind of wild. And to be honest with you, I'm not going to say, I, I'm not going to say that I didn't um, enjoy it because I love interacting with you guys and I love uh, interacting with all of you because it's, it's great to hear everyone's opinion. Um, but I just thought it was a little wild uh, today in the sense that I think there was a lot of accusation, a lot of finger pointing, this, that and the other. Um, let me tell you guys, I I have a favoritism towards certain fighters. You guys know already who I like. You guys know that I like Manny Pacquiao, Amir Khan. I've, said, I've told you millions of times, Canelo. Uh, I even like Errol Spence. But these are guys that put their lives on the line to give us entertainment and a sport that we love, right? Daily. In a sport that we love daily, right? Errol Spence has given me some really good fights. You know, his fight with Porter, his fight with Kel Brook. These were really good fights and fights that I really enjoyed and fights that made me ad admire and, and, and have an affection towards Errol Spence in the sense as a boxing fan. And I don't like criticizing fighters when because at the end of the day he may have suffered like so we know now that he suffered a torn retina in the left eye you know mike coppinger's reported this and a lot of people were accusing him saying he's ducking this that and the other uh, errol spence isn't ducking you know i'm sorry I, i'm gonna be straight up like errol spence had the opportunity to fight manny pacquiao you know in, in a life-changing fight for him. This could have taken Errol to another level. You know, here's the thing when people say that he didn't look good and they're protecting him and this, that, the other. A fighter, when you're getting paid, imagine, right, you're good at something. Imagine, no matter what it is, just think about it. You're good at something, right? You're really good at something. Someone's going to pay you 12 million to do that. To do that. You, you honestly think you're going to turn it down? Absolutely not. Why would Errol Spence turn it down? Even if he was not great, even if he was not in a great position, that's a lot of money to turn down. He could fight Manny Pacquiao and live the rest of his life, whether he wins or loses happily ever after. Happily ever after. He wouldn't have to work a single day in his life after that Manny Pacquiao fight. I don't think we realise, sometimes we get too engrossed into boxing and forget it's actually a sport. Now, some of them, some of you were saying, oh, it's corrupt, it's this, it's not. we know that, we know at times it can be. But it's also just a sport at the end of the day. It's also two guys getting in the ring and, and showing their skill set inside a squared circle. And sometimes I think we take it a bit too far. We start, cons you know, coming out with these conspiracy theories and this, that and the other. But at the end of the day, let's not forget, these are the same guys that go in the ring and give us entertainment. You know, these were the same guys that went in. Errol Spence is the same guy that went in against Kel Brook in his backyard. But he wasn't afraid then. Al Heyman wasn't afraid to send him over to England to fight a guy that was, was dangerous at the time. A lot of people were saying that Kel, Kel is even ready. A lot of people were saying, you know, Angel Garcia said that that guy gave Triple G some problems. Errol, I would... Keep Errol away, stay in the, in the United States. This is what Angel was saying. Because that was their mindset, that this guy's dangerous for Spence. But no, Errol Spence didn't do what most American fighters do and stay in their own country and fight. He bucked the trend and went over a, a star, a future superstar. Everybody knows how big Errol Spence was rated. Everybody thought that Errol Spence was special at that time and they were going to build him into a superstar. Yet they still sent him over to come to England to take that risk. Is that the same Errol Spence? That's the same Errol Spence, right? He went over to England to fight Kell Brook. And people are going to say, oh, well, Kell Brook had an eye injury. No, no, no. But they didn't know that, though. Errol Spence, whether he was going to fight Golovkin or not, was going to come over to England to fight Kell Brook. So... That guy, to me, shows me he was, he was willing to buck the trend and go to England, to Kell Brook's backyard, 
Not, not even come to England to go to his back yacht, to his home city where Kelbrook was born. To fight him in front of his own fans. Do you know, do you know how hard that is? When you're in front of 30,000 fans of somebody else's fans cheering against you. You know how difficult that is? Even though it's just you and him in the ring, it's still difficult because a crowd motivates you. The crowd can give you a lift. And Errol Spence went over and beat Kel Brook. After that, my respect for Errol Spence went through the roof. Because firstly, he bucked the trend. He did something that most young American stars wouldn't do. He crossed over the pond and he beat Kel Brook. That's when I realized that Errol Spence was a special fighter. That Not even the fact that he beat Kel Brook. The fact that he was willing to come over. What that shows is, is that this guy's not afraid. And he's willing to dare to be great. He's willing to take risks to be great. So now you're talking about a guy fighting Manny Pacquiao, who's a living legend. He was going to get his highest payday by a country mile. But you think... For some reason, he's not going to want to get be Like, fighters live for these type of opportunities. Sportsmen live for these type of opportunities. That's why they work their whole life. Nobody's going to convince him to, no, I'll pull out the fight. You're not looking great. You're getting... No, no. No, no one... This is an opportunity of a lifetime. Imagine. Think about it yourself. Right? You think about it. You worked your whole life and you managed to get become an elite sportsman. And now you've got to the stage where this is the biggest night of your whole life. You've managed to make it. You've managed to crack it. You're a star. And now you've got to the pinnacle. Something that you dreamed about as, you, as a young kid that was eight, seven, eight years of age, ten years of age. That one day I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be headlined. I'm going to be fighting Manny Pacquiao. I'm going to be fighting a legend. You know, and I'm, there's going to be 60,000 people there. And I'm going to be fighting. Or at the MGM. You know, against a legend. That that was there for Errol Spence. He was no longer dreaming it. He was living it. But for some reason, some of you guys seem to think that he's going to say, you know what? I'm not looking good. You know, I'm going to pull out. I'm going to pull out from something that I dreamt of as a young kid. I don't think I don't think sometimes we give these guys enough credit. And here's the problem with boxing. The problem is there's too many people that are pushing agendas. There's too many people that have, that look into boxing sometimes too deeply. And because of the fact that boxing has disappointed you, you're looking for something at times that is not there. Something as simple as a guy seriously got injured. He's got injured. Errol Spence has been injured. There's nothing more than that. There's nothing more than that. You know, the picture of him looking drained. Yeah, he didn't look great. And... A lot of fighters that are big, that are struggling to make weight, don't look good. But that sometimes, but that doesn't mean that they're not going to perform in the fight. My respect for Errol Spence, like I said, when he went over to England and beat Kel Brook, I don't want to hear any excuses because after hindsight's a wonderful thing. You know, we can say, oh, well, Kel had a her eye fought Golovkin, and he had, you know, Golovkin broke his eye socket. It's irrelevant though, because prior to the fight, people were saying that this may be too early for Errol Spence. Kelbrook will beat him. But then Errol Spence beats him and oh, no, okay. You know, people now in years come, well, Golovkin broke his eye socket first. Well, when that fight got signed, people were saying Kelbrook will beat Errol Spence. It's too early. So, like I said, when you, the same thing with Plan. And, I, and I'll stick up for Plant here. Plant, another guy. You know, Caleb Plant has got the opportunity of your lifetime to fight Canelo. Do you honestly think he's going to want to turn that down? Caleb Plant's not even as big, like he's not even the same level as Spence. Spence will become a star regardless. Spence has pulling power. Caleb Plant doesn't have that pulling power like a Spence. So Caleb Plant needs the Canelo fight more. Because firstly, he's not going to get a payday like that. Secondly, it's an opportunity for him to create a legacy, you know, by beating Canelo. At the end of the day, he's getting paid multi-millions to do something that he loves, to do something that he's good at. Yes, Caleb Plant is a good fighter. He's a world champion. He's good at boxing. Errol Spence is good at boxing. That's why they're at the level they're at. They're not going to be afraid of doing something they're good at. 
getting paid multi millions. I just feel sometimes we don't give these warriors enough credit, man. And I wish, and I will say this, I wish Errol Spence a speedy recovery. I wish him a speedy recovery. I hope he gets well because at the end of the day, we need fighters like Errol Spence because Errol Spence is a big star. He's a future star. He's a guy that's going to be one of the biggest stars in the sport. Like a Canelo, like a, you know, Spence. These guys are going to be the guys that are going to be the ones right now that are going to be carrying the sport. These are the biggest stars, you know, the Joshua's, the Spence's, the Canelo's. You know, these are the guys where, that when they're fighting, it's a big event, it's a big fight. You know, and Spence's stardom is growing. He's becoming bigger in America. He's slowly growing and growing and growing. Eventually, he may overtake Canelo. Who knows? I don't think so, but who knows? But this is why it's so important that this retina injury, eye injury that he's got is not serious. And he is able to recover. See, a lot of you guys are speculating about, oh, is it right? Is it true? Is it this, that, the other? Who cares? The main thing is we need him back. We need him for the sport of boxing. We don't need Errol Spence to be shelved. We need Errol Spence to be fighting. Because he's a great fighter and he's going to put more bums on seats. Because he's a great fighter. And this is what I'm trying to say to people. Like, I don't mind. Like, I love the live streams. And I love all of you guys that come on. Makai, Steven, Mike, you know, Little Penny. I, I don't mind all of you. All of your guys' opinions are great. Because you, one thing I like about a lot of you, all of you guys, generally most of you don't push an agenda. You say how, it, how you feel. You say how it is. We don't always agree and we have different, differing opinions. It doesn't matter. That's part of being, you know, the live stream. But at the end of the day, we have to respect fighters and we have to respect that these guys put their lives on the line for our entertainment. You know, and when something happens like this, rather than speculating, we should wish them well. We should wish them a speedy recovery. Because I want Spence back. I want Spence healed and back. His health is the most important thing. But I, I, hope, I hope he gets back healthy, which is the most important thing. And then I hope he comes back, you know, fully fit to fight again. Because Spence has been through a lot, man. Spence has been through a lot. Like, look at the accident that he had. That's not, that, that was a life, you know, that was a dangerous accident. It's a life-threatening accident. Forget about boxing, that was, you know, he could have lost his life. It was a serious accident that was. And he came back from that. He, came, he didn't just come back from the accident, he came back from the accident and he absolutely schooled a great fighter in Danny Garcia. So, rather than speculating, rather than you know, spe speculating about whether the injury, this, that. Just let's wish him a speedy recovery and hope he gets back and then hope we get the Pacquiao fight. You know, some of, this is what I mean. Look, Mike pointed this out when he went onto his Twitter. See, it's very easy to twist words when, 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 he, when someone said, well, Errol Spence said he'll be back in a couple of weeks. When he didn't say that, he said he'll be looking to fight the winner. See, looking to fight the winner could mean, you know, months and months and maybe a year. You know, Pacquiao doesn't fight every three, four months, does he? So if he fights in August, he may not fight again for another year. We're all gutted, man. We're all gutted that this fight's not happening. We're all gutted. We all wanted Pacquiao to fight Spence. It was all a, a kick in the stomach for everybody. But at the end of the day, let's not start speculating and start saying this, that and the other and start putting, you know, Spence down. Spence is a great fighter. Spence has given us a lot of great nights and he's going to give us more great nights, hopefully. You know, but the, right now we need to wish, hopefully, Sper Errol Spence has a speedy recovery. Rather than speculating about what he said, on Twitter, he clearly didn't say that he'll be back in a couple of weeks. He said he'll be back for the winner. 
And when's he going to be back for the winner? That could, that's a, that could, he didn't give a time frame, did he? So the matter is, is let's, let's, things you, and here's the most important thing. Manny Pacquiao's going to fight Ugas. We're going to get to see Manny Pacquiao fight. I don't, I've, I've said to you guys before, that I don't care if, who Manny Pacquiao fights. Now, do I want, did I want to see Manny Pacquiao fight Errol Spence? Of course I did. But Manny Pacquiao is going to fight. That's good enough for me. For me, anytime Manny Pacquiao fights is a big event. Anytime Manny Pacquiao is fighting, it's huge. It's huge. So I'm just excited. At least the fight's not been scrapped completely because that would have been, that would have been devastating. Manny Pacquiao's still fighting. So rather than, yeah, we, we're not going to get the Spence fight now. We have to accept that. But rather than, being upset, just think about, yes, we got Manny still fighting against Ugas. And that's a great fight. You know, Ugas is a really good fighter. Maybe I'll do a separate video about actually breaking that fight down. But yeah, guys, leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.